Hello and good evening. This is uh, Ruth Pozuela from Curval.com and uh, today uh, we're going to talk about how to build relationships with tables or between tables when both columns have duplicates. I'm sure you have uh, seen or that situation that happened to you at some point. If you have been using Power BI for a while, this is a message you will get. You can't create a, you can't create a relationship between these two columns because one of them must have unique values. So um, let's see how to solve this. I just uh, ran into this issue today and I thought that other people might wonder how to do it. So let's do it. So what we have here is, let me show you, we have two tables. We have a manufacturing table, this is fake data. Uh, but in here we see a product ID, a product name, and then we see date and how many products were delivered that date. We imagine that. And then we have a stock table. We again have a product ID, product name, the stock location and how many products we have on stock in that particular location. So if we go to the visualization pane and here we have product name and the number of products in stock from our stock table. If we say, okay, we would like to know how many products were uh, produced. So if you drop in the amount into the product name table, you will get this result. And the reason for this is that there are no relationships between these two tables. So Power BI does not know what to give you. So it gives you the total amount of products delivered, period. So to make that work, we need to create a relationship between these two tables. So product ID and product ID but both of them they have duplicates on their product id column so we can not make a match so there are several ways to do this you could for example merge the tables and add the stock table to the manufacturing table and that would be a way to do it normally you wouldn't want to do that if you have a lot of uh, a big model with a lot of data so what we're going to do is we're going to create a unique table based on these two tables that we will use as a key for creating the relationships. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the manufacturing table, right click on product ID and add as new query. This is actually quite nice. It wasn't available before. And uh, what you had to do before was to copy the entire table and then remove the columns. It, it, well, it's not that complicated to do, but I think that was a nice feature. So we are going to transform the list to a table. And now we're going to go to the stock table and we are going to do the same thing. We go to product ID and add this new query and we are going to transform that into a table so and what we want to do is we want to append those two that means the product uh, ids from list one add product ids from list two so for that we use append product id two Okay, and make sure that you have the same name on the column because if you don't, you will add instead of append. So now that we have the entire column, right click and remove duplicate. So now we have a list of unique products from both manufacturing table and the stock table. Let's call this uh, two product id key for example and then let's bring that product in oh this we don't need so make sure that we remove the load so 
So now the only thing we need to do is to bring product ID to product key and product ID to product key. So now we have a working relationship between the tables. And you see the results right away. Now Power BI understands how the two tables are related and gives you the correct values for it. So it was a short, but uh, I hope uh, the helpful trick. So this is all for today. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, let me know by liking it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for new videos, make sure you let me know in the comment box here at YouTube or you can contact me in any of the other social channels listed on the description box and uh, subscribe i publish new videos every week on power bi and make sure you don't miss our dax fridays where we go through a dax function every friday have a great evening bye